Hello, Star Seas and family. How are you all doing? Hope you're having a great day or night. Wherever you are, I have another message for us. So let me go ahead and invite the Holy Spirit and we will get started. Sweet Holy Spirit, we invite your presence now, Lord. You are welcome. You are welcome, sweet divine Holy Spirit. You are welcome now, God. Come speak through me, Lord. We thank you for covering us with your blood. Let no evil come near us, not our dwelling. Giving your angels charge over us to keep us in all of our ways. We thank you, Lord God, that no weapon formed against us shall prosper. We thank you, Lord God, for forgiving us of all of our sins as we forgive those who have sinned against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. We thank you, Lord God, for your provision. Thank you for your strong, strong, strong protection, Lord. Thank you, Lord God, for being a mighty shield for us. Thank you, Lord God, that we have on the whole armor of God and we're protected. Sweet Holy Spirit, we welcome your presence now. You are welcome. You said where two or three are gathered together in your name, you will be in the midst. I feel your presence, God. Thank you, Lord. Holy Spirit, I ask that you speak through me now to give this word to your people, to encourage and uplift their hearts. Show us what we need to see and tell us what we need to know. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you all, Star Seeds, for all your likes, shares, subscribes, and comments. I really, truly appreciate you all very, very much. Thank you for your love, your support, and your kindness. If you are new to the channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. We are so glad to have you here. And if you are returning, welcome back. So glad to have you back. It's always a pleasure to have you back. All right, so let us go ahead and get into this message. Star Seas, we have entered into the season um, where God was telling us in a couple of other messages previous that um, we have entered into a season of expansion and people wishing that they would have treated you better. We are here now, and um, somebody's twin flame is realizing that they wish they would have treated you better, especially with all of the information and the news that they're finding out of what happened in your divine union, how it was destroyed and sabotaged by karmic energies that they trusted. So they are realizing um, that this is a terrible, terrible loss. And they feel that it was unfair because a lot of these karmic energies did witchcraft and black magic on them. All types of um, spells to mind manipulate them, sex magic, Jezebel spirit, to control them, to um, hold them back from being who they truly are, who, from being who God intended for them to be in this lifetime. And these are people that they trusted. Um, they're frenemies that didn't want to see them happy, didn't want to see them grow, prosper, didn't want to see them get the blessing of God that is due to them based on this twin flame journey and relationship. So this person is moving swiftly away from conflict and confusion, all the lies, slander that was told on you all and on this divine union. And like I said, they feel like that it's a terrible, terrible loss, even though they're finding out now and walking away from this, these karmic energies, trying to destroy them. So they are swiftly coming towards you, star seeds. So you all about to have a deer in headlights type of moment because you're like, what in the world? Because for some of you, it's been up to five years since you've been apart from this person and you know the twin flame 
connection is very intense, very powerful, very passionate, um, very strong. But at the same time, they have been gone a long time away from your divine union with these karmic attachments. And ain't no telling what they done done in between that time, especially on a sexual level. So this is going to have y'all in looking like, what in the world is going on, Lord? Um, so yes, this person has found out the truth. They know exactly who you are now. You are their real twin flame, their real empress. You are the one who God has given the victory. And you have the inheritance and you are on the right side of the wheel of the wheel of fortune. You're on the, the top side. Everything is going in your favor and working out for your good. And you're about to receive some unexpected income and sudden wealth that God promised for being on this twin flame journey and everything that you had to go through and to endure in this these encounters and situations with these twin flames. It has not been easy. It has not been a walk in the park. And some of you all have been realizing and wondering why did God choose you to be on this twin flame? A twin flame journey in this lifetime because it is something else. So this um, your divine partner is realizing they see exactly who you are. You're the empress. Nothing changed in your life while they were gone. You actually um, God actually upgraded your life and gave you a level up. You never got off your throne. You never retaliated with nobody. You never argued with anybody. You never um, did any magic on anybody. You never, you know, lied on anybody. You never was um, being evil or slandering or gossiping about nobody. You was never doing any of that. But it was them that failed to stay on their throne. They failed to lead, failed to be who God called them to be in this lifetime with you. So they had to... A lot of them were very stubborn and arrogant and narcissists themselves and mainly how they grew up. The, their parents may have been narcissists their, or whoever raised them. And they did not want to change their ways or heal. So they had to learn this major lesson with these karmic energies that taught them, that woke them up to who they really are. And so they have received, um, a lot of them have received some spiritual downloads and messages from their spirit team, um, letting them know the truth and the truth is being revealed. All of the black magic and witchcraft and um, sex magic and mind manipulation, word magic, all of that has backfired on these karmic attachments and the truth has come out. And these divine partners are wishing that they would have cut these um, karmic energies off a long time ago. But they were still blind and asleep and was um, blindly trusting these karmic energies, that they had their best interests in their mind and in their heart, and that they were their friends, their, their family members or whoever, and they would not do, you know, something like this to them. But they're realizing that this karmic that they chose, karmic energies attachment, was not a wish fulfillment at all. But this person worked hard, very, very hard, tirelessly in the background, trying to get a reconciliation with your divine partner. Trying to convince them that they were you and you were them had them in a huge illusion just so they can get recognition. They want effort without reward. They want to reward without effort and cause a huge injustice. And they were very stubborn, holding on, being resilient. 
telling a lot of lies and misleading people, trying to slow this divine partner down from coming back towards you to reconcile. And so these, um, div- your divine partners, they're reading between the lines now. They're um, <clears throat> in deep regret and sorrow that they took this this huge risk that um, may have cost them everything, may have cost them their life with you, cost them their abundance, their peace, their happiness, their balance. And so these... Um, The divine partners, they want to evolve and grow now. They have learned a major, major lesson um, that has humbled them. And now they want to expand to the new phase of life. They want to rekindle a relationship with you, renew and grow. They have changed. They have a changed mind now that they have went through all this these things with these karmic attachments and they're cutting things out that they used to do no longer operating how they used to operate separating excuse me separating themselves from what no longer serves them stopping the patterns and giving these karmic energies the silent treatment a lot of them have ended things with this karmic and karmic attachments. Um, This is a tragic ending for a new beginning and they have liberated themselves from this situation. And going through this transformation, this Mercury retrograde has a lot to do with it. It's bringing up a lot um, that happened in the past. It's um, going backwards to you know, not letting people sweep stuff under the carpet anymore. It's like pulling the covers off, pulling the wools off, the wools off of people's eyes and causing them to, making them deal with stuff that they've covered up, all the secrets, all the black magic in the background that has backfired, all the, you know, patching stuff up, like, no, fix this hole. You can't pass this up no more. You need to fix this. You need to heal. Heal your heart. And so that is what um, Mercury Retrograde is doing for us in this season. And um, and this is going to be going on until the be- the new year. So, which is interesting because it's the holidays. You know, a time where people are supposed to be happy and gathering and talking and laughing and drinking. But... We got um, Mercury retrograde getting people together before this new year hit. And so they're realizing that um, this karmic energy now has, they have blocked this person. Because they do not want to give up causing imbalances for your divine union and also for you. They send a lot of spell work and magic towards this situation, trying to get the will to change in their favor, but it doesn't work like that. God sits high and looks low. He is looking at the hearts of everybody. People see the outside of people, but God looks at the heart. He knows the evil intentions or the good intentions of a person's heart. And he blesses you according to your deeds. Whatever you sow, you shall reap it. Whatever energy you protect, project out in the, in the world, that's the, um, the energy that you're experiencing right now. So be mindful when you're protecting evil and um, death and endings and trying to cause people not to receive their blessings. Just all of that. You just got to be mindful because you pretty much create your reality based on the seeds that you sow and the energy you project out into this world and also towards others. So somebody right now is heavily stressed because you're 
at peace and you're enjoying, you're about to enjoy expansion. And so this has somebody willing to apologize so they can get, so things can get realigned in you all's um, divine union and your relationship. This person wants to give you a higher level of commitment now, be a partnership with you because they want to have this paradise. They want to be happy, experience happiness and joy and togetherness and oneness. They want to have a a successful, beautiful relationship with you. But uh, is that too late? That will be up to you. Can, according to what they have done, how long it's been, and how this whole situation made you feel, what, where you are on this twin flame journey, all of those, all of those things will have to be factored into your decision. But you need to seek God first before you deal with people, places, and, and things, because just because they coming back don't mean that they, they all the way healed, or, or have learned the lesson that they needed to learn. But God knows all, and He sees all. So all you have to do is ask Him, and He'll let you know exactly what you need to know. And so it looks like a karmic is facing legal matters at this time. Based on everything that they have done in this situation and what is being found out. This has people shook and shocked. Somebody that they least expect would go to these measures and extremes just to get fake security and stability from a man that didn't even love them or a woman that didn't even love them like that. That's weird. But all right, Starseeds, that is the message. You all have entered into the season where people are wishing that they would have treated you better. These um, divine partners, counterparts are coming back swiftly to apologize and um, to speak their peace to you. They know that you are the blessing. You are the real true gift. You are the truth. You are the inheritance. Like Jesus say, you are, he is the truth and the light. The truth and the life. That's, they know that you are that now. You are the real inheritance, the gift, the inheritance. You, you're God's favor is on your life and you about to receive blessings on blessings on blessings for everything you had to go through and endure in these twin flame um, connections and relationships, divine unions. And this um, divine union, this twin flame journey has woken you up to who you really are and to operate in your purpose. And, um, and and let you know that this is a self-love journey that you need to love yourself before you can love anybody else. Put yourself first. Treat yourself right. Make sure your your cup is not empty. You can't pour from an empty vessel. You got to be filled up. And you got to love yourself and you got to feel yourself, feel your way into everything that God is telling you about yourself, of who you are, his purpose, his plan for you and his word and promises to you. You have to feel your way into all of that. And in order to do that, you need to fill your cup. Make sure your fill your cup is filled by taking care of yourself and loving yourself. That's nobody else's responsibility. It is yours alone with God. And anybody else that comes along that wants to love you, that's just the extra bonus. But you're not dependent on them to love you. 
because you know where your help comes from. You know where your happiness comes from. Happiness comes from within. Everything that you need is within you. All of your answers are within you. They're not outside of you. So know thyself and love thyself. And keep moving forward. Completing your divine mission. Operating in your purpose. That is the message, Darcy's. I love you all. God loves you. Love and light. Treat yourself and others right. I did post the garden angels that will be that are protecting us this week. So take a look at that message also um, when you get a chance. I will talk to you all soon. Bye.